My name is Willie with WCD Fab. I was born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona. Born in 1980. 80! Didn't graduate high school. My fifth year back, quit. Started fabricating. Started building hot rods and custom cars and bicycles. I didn't fit in much at school. This is kind of getting really, really neat. <laughs> no, talking about the truck here. Didn't fit in much, you know, so. Built some vehicles in my mom and dad's backyard and built my confidence with BMX racing. So I cut vehicles apart completely and redesigned them and put them back together the way that we want them to be. Is that too deep? Okay, good. Okay. Ah, uh, this guy don't take they took but did bad that cut. This guy Daytona Dave has got a hold of us and he says, Hey man, can you build me a ride? And I say, Yeah, no problem. So he comes over to the shop and we meet and he tells me he's got a 2005 Dodge Ram that's Daytona so it's Daytona Dave and he wants it four linked bagged laying on the ground with some 24 by 16s they're 405s and 24 by I believe they're 10s up front with a three inch lip and uh, he Specifically asked for a couple things, no negative camber. I want my balance to touch the ground a little bit. So what I do is I redesign A-arms, one inch narrower. I design a four link that is capable of whatever you throw at it. It's got a pan hard bar that's Z'd. So it goes pretty much straight up and straight down minus two degrees one way and then the other ride height that's perfectly straight up and down everything's parallel a arms straight out you know design it for what it is skating on the ground any skates about an inch off the ground freeway the four link is a parallel four link with a, a z bar and hard bar it's bags behind axle because he wants to quarter mile it with a big motor. So when people come to our shop, they ask, I want to get my car back. I said, I'm going to get my truck back. They say, oh man, what else do you want to do with it? A different four link for different things. If you want a road course, I wouldn't give you a parallel four link. I'd give you a triangulated four link. If you're going to quarter mile it, I'd give you one of these parallel four links. If you want to rock crawl it, it'd be totally different than anything. Especially what you see on this truck. Halfway through the build, this kid, Daytona Dave, was slacking on buying parts. He finally bought nice, nice brakes. Will Wood, 16 inch rotor, six piston. People tell him he didn't need that big of a rear rotor or rear caliper, but he said, big wheel, big mass, might as well. So after we were done building the vehicle, or when we were building the vehicle, I saw these rotors in hand and 16 inches. I remember buying wheels for a Honda Civic that were 16s. I was like, so excited. This is a rotor that's 16. The A-arms. The arms we built him were out of nine different pieces. They were eighth inch sidewall with quarter inch tops. Where the ball joint mounted to the A arm was half inch thick metal. So it's three different thickness metals with nine different pieces to create the upper A arms. Yeah, we painted the engine compartment and the uh, four link and the upper lower control arms, uh, two stage copper color to match the vehicle. 
The frame was just a rattle can, flat black, expensive rattle can. It's about $12 each can. Gas tank, I took the factory gas tank apart, checked it out, see what venting it needed. Redesigned it behind the axle, built it all out of eighth inch aluminum. Welded it up. Has one little pinhole had to fix after we pressure tested it. The way we designed the top of the tank is with a quarter inch ring welded below the eighth inch thick metal and it's tapped. It was tapped on the outside of the factory sending unit and fuel pump housing. So you could take the factory fuel pump housing and fuel sending unit and drop it inside the tank and you'd get proper reading on your fuel sending unit and you'd get pro proper pressure on your fuel pump because it's your factory stuff. The computer, we moved it up and around. We did a dual battery setup, it was a dual Optima. Still running 12 volts, but built a custom WCD fat battery strap. You know, I gotta put our name somewhere. Not too much, just in the right areas, like here, there, there, there. The air tanks, there's dual air tanks. It's AccuWare, AccuWare E-level sensors. Capable of a preset setting, one, two, or three. One is low, two is all right, number three is getting in and out of curves and whatnot. Number negative one, it's like almost zero, is freeway. Told them you better not ride any higher than one freeway, otherwise you're not skating. You paid enough money to have this vehicle bill, you might as well enjoy it. Peel out, drift it, punch it, yee yee! I've learned that if you don't do it yourself, you won't get it done the way you envision it. And if you can't explain it right, you won't be able to get it done the way you want it. So if the customer talks to us and we can't relay it best, uh, the customer's not going to get what they want. But feelings are involved in this. It's not just money. We like feelings more than the dollar. The dollar shines us away from the feeling so when we build a vehicle for Daytona Dave and other people we put our heart into it we put our thought into it and there's a plan and if you don't stick with the plan you you better the plan you don't go worse there's an ultimate goal of feelings and the feelings are if you don't ever have to come back to the shop that built your vehicle that's a very good feeling Sometimes things might take longer because there's art involved or there's pain involved or even suffering with family members that stuff doesn't happen overnight. It happens when the time is right. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> it's just